Hey everybody, Jeremy here. Welcome to Action Figure Window Shopping, episode 37. So this is a very special episode because most of it is going to be showing off all of the announcements that McFarland Toys had this week for their summer showcase. They did three days worth of this stuff, and it's a lot of things to cover. And I'm also going to have some other non-McFarlane things in this episode as well. So let's jump right in. And I'm using all the pictures from their Instagram page because they're nice and big and colorful. All right, so let's get started. The first announcement is a Deathstroke figure. And most of these are going to be available for pre-order right now, either from whatever retailer you want, or there's some that's going to be a Target exclusive. But in the case of this Deathstroke from DC Rebirth, it is available for pre-order wherever. So go ahead and check that out. Let's take a look at this guy. Yeah, he looks all right. Looks fine to me. Um, yeah, not really much to say about him. Uh, he's got sword, a sword, and a knife. And in fact, in fact, I think there's a video, yeah, accompanying him. So you can see on the back they have this that little attachment right there where you can put that sword. So I do like that. So if you don't want to have the sword in the hand, put it on his back. I like that they gave us that option. All right, so let's move on to the next announcement, which is a gold label figure exclusively at Target. This is the Ocean Master gold label figure. I don't know anything about this guy, Ocean Master, but, you know, just judging the figure based on what he looks like in these uh, promotional photos, looks pretty good. That face sculpt, I like the grimace on those teeth. Looks pretty nice. Nice little texture right there on the chest. Yeah, he looks all right. But you know what I also like about this is you look at this background that the figure is on and they actually have some little videos to show basically how they put together those backdrops and not as complicated as you might think. I mean, just look at this. You got a few little ocean reefs and whatnot and put the figure on a stand, get some decent lighting on them and then bam, that's how they came up with what we see here. You know, a little post-production color correction and whatnot. So, yeah, looks very nice. So that's exclusive to Target. The next, well, this is not a reveal. This is just a, in case you missed it kind of thing. I've seen on Reddit some people are um, even starting to get these in hand. So it seems like the McFarlane Toy Store, when you pre-order from them, um, to me, it looks like you're going to be getting them in the mail earlier than you would with most other retailers. So that might be something to uh, think about. Just know that their shipping is pretty expensive. So, uh, yeah, but if you just need to have it in hand faster than pretty much anyone else, McFarlane Toy Store, you might want to give it a shot, at least for one order uh, and see what happens. All right, so this is another Black Adam statue from DC Direct in collaboration with McFarlane Toys. This is a 12 inch resin statue, so it's going to command a more expensive price. The regular statue, the one that we saw first, that one was $40, but this one is not as cheap as that. I forget the exact price for it, but it's uh, I think it's over $150. 50 160 bucks something like that it might even be more but uh here is a look at that with a few different angles there we go so we get them from that side as well and again really really nice likeness of Dwayne Johnson there he's got the all whited out eyes doing almost like the uh the Roman Reigns thing you know when he if you watch wrestling you know when he goes back when he's ready ooh wow that kind of thing I'm not saying that, you know, it was ripped off or anything, but, you know, that's what it reminds me of. So, yeah, awesome. Black Adam without the cape. And then we also have another Dr. Fate. This is another DC Direct resin statue, 12 inches tall. Again, it's going to be um, a little more expensive. Well, a lot more expensive when you think about it compared to the price of a traditional uh, mega fig. So here's a look at him. Got a Black Adam base there. Look at the detail right there on his costume, all those symbols and whatnot. Look at the damage there on the helmet. We can see his ears. Yeah, DC Direct does make some very nice things, whether it's figures, action figures, or statues. But I think I mentioned this in another episode. They just command a higher price because they are uh, 
higher quality. Next up, McFarlane has these retro DC superpowers figures. And in this video, since they didn't have individual Instagram pictures up of them, we're going to be getting like the Superman here and we have a bat wing and then we're also going to have a Superman vehicle. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here so that you can see what's going on. There's a dark side right there. You can kind of see like a sort of retro inspired McFarlane Toys logo. There's a Batman right there. And as we skip ahead a little bit, he's going to take the Batwing out of the packaging. It's very much like an old school toy. It reminds me of like this old Batmobile that I used to have that also had some, some action features to go along with it. So with this one, you know, it's got a trigger to uh, make the little claws do like this. So, you know, you can grab villains or whatnot, like he says. You can also put the figures inside of the uh, vehicles. They will fit. So this is the Batwing. But then he also has Superman's Supermobile that has fists. It has fist punching action. And I got to admit, when I saw this, I had to smile. I mean, because watch what he does. All right. So there's the cockpit. You can store different figures inside of there or like villains and whatnot but the best part is when you look at these fists let's see i don't know if i went past it yet all right so there's that little button right there and then when you twist it look at that isn't that crazy man it, it's it's simple it's you know it's a toy but look at that that's funny to me that's funny look at that you know because it's like a superman punch from a weird vehicle so i i do like that i do like that so these are going to be exclusive to walmart so they're coming very soon exclusively to walmart if you want to you know just really embrace the toy aspect of collecting now let's go back to the, some serious stuff this is a mega fig right here from the blackest night line that's a builder figure line but they're also they also are going to have this mega fig for Necron. So here's a picture of Necron right here without the video. He is a mega fig. Pre order is available right now. He's got the Black Lantern scythe and a base for posing. Look at this guy. He looks crazy. Look at that face sculpt. Oh man, that looks so good. And look at that chest cavity. You can see all deep down in there. This is a great looking figure. And it's not the only mega fig that we can look forward to because we are also getting friggin bane another bane but this bane is the more traditional bane that we know he is not like the black and white one that was part of that builder figure wave this is the flesh tone colored bane and he looks so good man look at this guy love it love it love it Available for pre-order right now, 40 bucks. I think this is going to be the bane that most people are like, yep, that is the one. And you don't have to worry about putting his crazy arms and legs on. Because remember how horrible that experience was with the build a figure. Man, he looks he looks he looks so good. And then they also took that extra step in showing us in this video what they did to kind of create that backdrop, you know, so just really fast. They're going through this and just uh, making an outline of the figure, punching it out. I like the little extra steps that they're doing just to show us what goes into like this uh, toy photography, you know, because it's a very creative process. And kudos to the people who go the extra mile and do the different paint jobs to customize their figures or who do action figure photography and all the editing that comes along after you take the picture. Because, man, it just looks so, so good once you nail it. So, yep, so we got the guy. We got to bring in the lights here. Got that three point lighting. Two on the side, one on the front. Looks really nice. All right. So let's move on to McFarlane Dragons, a line that they did a long time ago, and they are bringing it back. So this is a first look, a video of some of the McFarlane Dragons. Those are some of the older ones, I believe. So we're just going to move forward and take a look at some of these dragons here. Look at that. 
Now, these are just dragons, you know, they're not a part of any particular property. But if you really just want to, you know, get your hand on some dragons, I guess, you know, generic dragons, if you will. McFarland's bringing them back. Bringing back the dragons. And this is not the only one. There is another dragon. It's another McFarland dragon. Here's another sneak peek. Look at that. Yep, so these are coming soon. Massive guy. Look at that wingspan. That's a really good color. Great for all of you dragon fans out there. All right, so moving on from McFarlane Dragons, and now we're into Spawn territory. So this is Plague Spawn. He's coming out later this year. Really knocking out the park with these Spawn figures. They look so, so good. And then when we thought it was going to be over for just two days, they hit us with a third day of McFarlane Summer Showcase toys and um half of them are pretty much from my uh, warhammer 40k dark tide that's going to be coming out soon so this is ogren from this game the really big brute guy and then they also have uh Kadian veteran guard and then this one is the traitor guard so as i said before i'm really looking forward to this game I really, really did enjoy playing Vermintide, Vermintide 2. That was so good. So this is a contest that uh, McFarlane is doing to give away these six figures from the upcoming Black Adam movie. So if you just go to uh, go over to their website, you can click on the link in this bio here for McFarlane Toys. And it's going to take you directly to the little form that you have to fill out so that you can win all six of these figures. Black Adam, Dr. Fate, Hawkman and Cyclone. And then for the Mega Figs, Adam Smasher and Subbok. So good luck if you're going to enter so you can get all those guys and gal for free now i don't know what this is but it's available on prime video for the legend of vox machina uh so this is another one of those in case you missed it uh kind of things that they're just sort of reiterating for the summer showcase and then we're also getting a first look at these two characters from Disney Mirrorverse. So there you go, Anger and Baymax. This game, Disney Mirrorverse, it is available uh, right now in the United States for uh, Android and iOS, I believe. I played a little bit of it. I gotta say, I don't like it. <laughs> um, it I think it had a lot of potential, but it's just, it's really, really repetitive and there's no voice acting for any of the characters. And, you know, it's just constant. It's a battling loop over and over and over. And, you know, it just, it feels so generic. And uh, I think it's just for people who have really addictive personalities and they just want to keep unlocking more and more and more characters. But, you know, this is lacking a lot of substance. So I don't really care for that game. But here are the figures. I do have the Buzz Lightyear from that game. I do like the Buzz Lightyear. Might get the genie at some point, but here's two more. And then we are coming at the end here. Nightmare Spawn is coming this year. Look at those wings, dude. Oh, that looks so good. But with that being said, that is it for the McFarlane Summer Showcase. A whole bunch of announcements. Pre-orders are up now. So go pre-order the ones from your favorite store, except for the ones that you can only get at Target, the gold label ones. And then also for the, uh, the retro DC superhero stuff, that's only available at Walmart. So thanks so much, McFarlane Toys. And now we are moving on. So... Do you remember the Hasbro selfie series? So I talked about that a little while ago, some weeks back. It was leaked, but now it is official. It is a real thing. It's something that Hasbro is going to be doing where you can scan your face using the Hasbro Pulse app. And then for $60, you'll be able to get a scan of your face put onto a head um, for a action figure of your choice from a bunch of different properties, Marvel, Power Rangers, Ghostbusters, you know, that kind of thing. It is real. Um, so if you want to stay in the know, you can go over. Well, you can just Google Hasbro selfie series It's going to take you over to this page and you can put in your email or whatever and be notified for when it's ready to go. It's going to be launching in fall 2022. 
exclusively on the Hasbro Pulse mobile app. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about this, the um, 3D scanning and stuff, 3D printing, is going to be done in, co in collaboration with Form Labs, and they have this post here talking about the partnership with the Hasbro Selfie Series, a groundbreaking endeavor to use 3D printing to manufacture personalized action figures at scale. So here are some pictures of what they can look like. Showing you a little bit of behind the scenes smart stuff that I can't possibly understand. Here's a look at some of the molds. Closer look at some of the figures here. So we got our Ghostbusters, we got our Power Ranger. I don't know, who is this in the middle? Is that like a G.I. Joe or something? I'm, yeah, I have no idea who, what this is from. But yeah, take a look at those faces. The only thing about these faces is, you know, I think they'll capture a pretty decent likeness of you, but there's still a blurriness going on with them. Let's see if you can kind of notice like with her face and with his face, there's there's a blurriness going on. Not so much with the guy for uh, being a Ghostbuster, but it really stands out on these two here. So here's how it's going to work. First, you download the Hasbro Pulse app. You scan your face. You choose the hair color. You pick your preferred action figure and then that's it. Your configuration is sent to the Hasbro Print Factory. It's queued up for creation. The heads are assembled with the standard off-the-shelf action figure bodies. They put it in a box, they mail it to you, and then you smile and you put a picture on social media so everyone can see that you have your own personalized action figure. And like I said, it's gonna cost 60 bucks. And I am going to do this because, hey, you know, how else? Will you be able to do something like this with official, officially licensed characters, you know, so easily just from just from an app? So they are doing this. And in case you're curious about what they're going to be doing with your face data over on The Verge, they looked into it. And when they updated their story about this, um, they added assurances from Hasbro and Form Labs that they won't be selling or using your face data for anything else. So if they see you and they go, man, you would make the perfect villain for this thing that we're doing. They can't just take your face and make a character based on your likeness and make a billion dollars and not give you a dime so they're not going to be selling or using your face data for anything else hopefully that remains true and we don't get like some huge leak you know coming out later so that is happening here and also on that same note the scan will be stored for only 60 days from ship date at which point it is deleted all right so let's move on to another figure that when i saw this it was a blast from the past Dragon Ball Z, the Tree of Might. So Bandai Spirits has this Turles exclusive figure here, figure arts figure, for $114.99. Now, first of all, that's too darn much for this figure, and I don't even think he's a full six inches tall, 5.7 inches. So yeah, he he's overly expensive, and there's no way on God's green flat earth that I would ever buy this guy. But it just sort of struck me as this movie, The Tree of Might, when this came out, it was in this phase where we didn't get uh, like the new Dragon Ball. But this was like way before Dragon Ball Super. This was still when we were still kind of reeling with like uh, like the Frieza saga, you know, like on Namek, and that kept just being replayed over and over again. And we were trying to get those newer episodes so we can wrap up that series and go on to Cell and Majin Buu and all that good stuff. And they brought out this movie, The Tree of Might. And in continuity with where they were with the TV show, it wasn't lined up because it was like, well, if Goku just goes Super Saiyan, he could just take him out just like that. You know, but I remember that not being the case. But anyway, another one of these figures that's like, hey, look, it's Goku, but it's not. He's evil. A trope that they've gone to uh, a few times <laughs> since then, or at least a couple of times since then, you know, Goku Black. But yeah, here's a look at the figure. Don't let him eat the fruit. He'll get so strong. But yeah, I was just kind of shocked to see him because, you know, like Turles. Oh, my God, man. I haven't heard that name in years, but it's coming out in February 2023. One hundred and 
$15. No thank you, sir, but it was sure nice seeing you again, Turles. That scanner is completely useless these days and has been for a very long time. So I'm um, also kind of keeping with the vein of Dragon Ball stuff. I recently did a review of the Banpresto GX Materia Krillin. I'll leave a card so that you can check that out. Um, and I really do like that figure, despite the fact that the stand for the um, Destructo Disc effect broke on me. But it did make me want to head over to Banpresto's website to take a look at some other figures, statues that are either available now or coming up very soon. Um, this is not the easiest website to navigate and they do this horrible thing where when you try to right click they won't let you because you don't have permission to right click thieves but anyway I was just kind of scrolling through this to see what figures look kind of cool to me I do like this Dragon Ball Z blood of Saiyans uh, figure here of Gohan if it will load there we go I do kind of like that he has that golden colored hair that they sometimes do with Super Saiyans as opposed to just kind of keeping it yellow they have used like a gold paint before um, not the big I mean it's not horrible it's different but you know eh. anyway let's look at some of these other ones uh, they got these figures from Dragon Ball uh, Super Superhero, which is a horrible name. But uh, yeah, they got that. And they have this Gohan here from uh, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Um, I think this is definitely one that I will want because I don't have an adult Gohan figure. I do not. I just have teen Gohan. I don't even have like young Gohan. So I need to... Um, I need to pad out that collection of Gohan figures there. And I also need to get a Piccolo because I don't have a Piccolo. Um, here's some more GX Materia stuff. I do like this Vegeta. I would like for him to go along with my Nappa that I got years ago. So I would like to have a Vegeta from that era. And I do like how the GX Materia figures come with uh, an effect just like this. Uh, we got Power Walking Gohan. Uh, Power Walking Vegeta. There's the Krillin that I like. I also like this Krillin. I remember seeing him uh, quite a while ago. I wonder if they're bringing him back. And um, let's see what else I got here. Goku on the Flying Nimbus. I do like that. I still need to get my hands on at least one of these figures from the Manga Dimensions uh, series because they, they're done up in this paint that makes it look like they jumped right out of the full color uh, manga. And it looks so amazing in pictures that people post for reviews. And like, I got to get me one of those in person. I'm just procrastinating like crazy. Um, and I was also surprised that they sell this one at Walmart, the GX Materia, the Son Goku 2. They do have this available at Walmart. I think he's around like $25. Amazon has him for like $20 or $21. Um, I don't think I'm going to pick this up um, because I didn't watch the original Dragon Ball. So I'm kind of like, I don't really want like a young Goku, but we'll see. Uh, but I, I do see him in stores. And yeah, so I just kind of just want to go down the line. I see like this one for Goku GX Materia. I was thinking about getting this guy right here. I've seen Yamcha in stores as well, but he's Yamcha, so forget about him. Go Tanks. Yeah. So just uh, every now and then I like to come here just to kind of see what's uh, what's coming down through the pipeline for Ban Presto figures. All right, so let's move on. I'm sure that this is running a long time, so we're almost finished here. Um, here is a collection of these really, really expensive, so they should be awesome, Prime One Studios Resident Evil statues here. So this is one uh, from Nemesis, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, and this is Nemesis for $1,724. It's got that rocket launcher if you want them to have it, but you can swap it out if you want. And he's Nemesis, man. I mean, he's just kind of been that towering badass for years and years and years. You know, when you think about the most iconic Resident Evil villain, it is Nemesis through and through. Sorry, Wesker. The answer is Nemesis. So there he is right there. He is 36.2 inches tall. Huge, huge he is. 
And then they also have a, uh, a premium master line Nemesis. That's not the uh, deluxe version. And then we also have Jill Valentine. So this is the deluxe version of Jill Valentine. Has one of those hellhounds. Got a zombie right there as well. And of course, you know, she looks like eh, nothing's phasing me. I'm Jill Valentine. I did this before in a mansion. So she has a swappable head, LED illumination. That's really nice for that zombie trying to claw at her. She's in the full running stance because that's how you run when you have a gun. Surprised you didn't know that. But yeah, she's $1,609 and she is uh, almost 20 inches tall. The zombie dog itself is over 12 inches tall, made of polystone. Comes with her, the dog, two swappable portraits and two bases. But yeah, it's expensive, $1,609. So those are the ones that's being highlighted. And then here are some of the other ones that's still available for pre-order. Leon Kennedy, but these are figures and not, you know, like polystone statues. And then the one that I showed last week, Lady Dimitrescu. All right. Um, and last but not least, I wanted to show some stuff over on. Oh, it's getting kind of dark. Let me. I have no idea how long I've been kind of dark there. But anyway, um, over here. So I'm on the Warframe store. Uh, Tenocon 2022, if anyone out there plays Warframe and you know about Tenocon, it's their uh, annual um, their annual show that they put on where they show off some of the latest updates that they're going to be working on, things that are going to be coming out, making big announcements and all that stuff. And I wanted to go to their merch store to see what was available in terms of collectibles. So Warframe is still the my most played video game of all time even though i don't really play it much these days anymore i stepped away from it for too long and when i came back you know the meta has changed and there's different currencies and different materials and everything so much stuff is different and it's hard to really get back into it and understand what the heck you're doing if you've been gone for a long time because it's constantly evolving but even if you don't know about Warframe, um, just take a look at some of these statues. So this is Teshin. So Teshin, and you know, he's like this really awesome warrior dude um, from the Oregon and Orokin. And he's got these two swords here. And this whole thing, you know, like even the humans kind of have like this hybrid, you know, human machine kind of thing going on here. So we got our good friend Teshin. And then we have some Warframe statues. This is uh, one of the Warframes name is Harrow. So maybe you can just kind of appreciate the way that, you know, these statues look, even if you don't necessarily know who they are. And then the guy who stole our hearts, Call 175, a Grenier that we were able to play as in the last big update. He's got that torn helmet right there. Looks good. Call. Call of Duty. And some other Warframes here. Ivara. We have her. We got some un... We have the Fashion Frame Edition for Volt. Unpainted. And then we have a painted one for Volt. A couple of bobbleheads or uh, noggles as they call them. Baro Katir and Excalibur. Some plushies. So, yeah, um, yeah, I just wanted to take a look at this since, you know, I, I am still a big fan of Warframe and all of the time that I spent with that game and how fun it was for all of those years. And I don't know, maybe I can figure out how to get back into it. I'm not sure, but these are nice statues. And um, also, in case you're interested, the team are working on a brand new game called Soul Frame which the website is having trouble, but this is another game from Digital Extremes. We don't know too much about it, but they just revealed it today. So some of the old guard from the Warframe dev team is moving over to work on Soul Frame while new folks kind of come in and, and uh, fill in the space that they're leaving behind. So this is the website. I figured out this little code here and it let me scroll down, but you know, the site is having some problems right here so we'll we'll learn more about soul frame eventually in the future but yeah that's it you guys this has been a long and probably the longest episode of action figure window shopping to date but uh 
I think we covered a lot of good stuff from the McFarlane uh, showcase and uh, some other cool things as well. So I'll be back next week with a most likely shorter episode. So thanks so much for watching. Until then, I am Jeremy. Take care and I'll talk to you later.